Comedy Club. It is Pixie, and I dyed my hair yellow the other night and cut my bangs real short. I had one of those nights where you just feel like a little sassy, a little frustrated over nothing. I think I think I, it was like PMS week, and I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna dye my hair yellow and cut my bangs like 18 inches too short. So we're dealing with it. I actually don't mind the bangs. The yellow I'm trying to get rid of. I loved yellow when I had it, but I just feel like I really settled into blonde X rainbow and I felt very happy there. And um, then I ruined it. <laughs> That's not what this video is about. If you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you probably know this already and you probably have been anticipating this video, but we have added a new little man to our lives. And by little man, I mean a cat. I'm not pregnant, no, no one would believe that. I'm not even gonna, gonna try to prank you with thinking I had a human son. Oh, but here's my cat son right now. <gasps> this is Stickers. Hi, say hello, he is licking my finger. So you guys probably know that I moved recently from my parents' house to my own home um, across province, across the Maritimes. And back at home we had five cats. I'm sorry, this is so distracting. He's quite busy. He is like 12 weeks. We had five cats and one of them, Serena, our British long hair, just loved me and like no one else. And I feel really bad saying that, but like she slept in my room, she hung out in my room, she only snuggled me. Like she was like, Jillian is my human, everyone else is like, all right. And so that is the reason that I took Serena because we figured like, okay, if we leave her behind and her only favorite person's gone, she's gonna be sadder than if we take her and she's without her cat friends. And she didn't hang out with the other cats anyway. Like pretty much ever. It was rare that Serena would like really hang out with the boys. So we moved and we figured she'd be a happy, happy solo cat, but she was meowy, pretty meowy, very meowy to the point where I would have to lock her out of my room at night, which was really sad, but she would meow all night and I wouldn't be able to sleep. And then it would be really hard the next day at school, but then I felt so bad locking her out of my room because she just wanted people. And we really, really thought about this. Like adding another cat to the family is like a huge financial thing, vet bills, surgery, anything. Like I just, I'm a very serious cat owner and I like don't like to mess around. But my poor little Nina Bean has just been meowing her little sweet grumpy face off and so I thought I think she really needs a cat bud. And it just so happened that this precious little man popped up from the lady that we got. Nico, my first cat, I can't, I'm wearing long sleeves, but the one that's tattooed on my arm, that man. She had another kitten that was available and I said, hey, screw it, let's go get a cat. Basically, this video is gonna be a lot of like phone cat videos. I just think I love watching cat videos on my TV. Sometimes like with my mom or with Steve, we will just sit on the TV and like Chromecast cat videos. So if you want some cuteness to absorb and also get to know our new little friend, this is the video for you. Now I did choose the name Stickers. Choosing the cat's name is always the hardest thing. Like I said, back home, my family had five cats. This makes six cats when I go home for Christmas. It's gonna be four people and six cats. Like the humans are outnumbered now. Um, but basically picking a cat name is always like extremely serious. We like Google docs it, we ask our friends, we do polls, we like whittle it down. Like again, we don't mess around when it comes to our cats. I was amalgamating my own list of cat names and I decided to throw it on Twitter cause we just could not decide. And you guys came up with some absolutely hilarious names and I want to read some for you now. <laughs> I feel like this is like a poetry slam. The cat names suggested by you, we have. Abby Pop says Pancake, which is one of the ones I had on my list. I still think Pancake is an amazing cat name. Ophelia says Sandwich, Pickle, Sorbet, Buttercream. Jack is a really cool artist. Um, Marshall, you gotta say it in a whisper. Sweet Mary, who is always so supportive, says Star, Starry, Stella, getting sweet nighttime space snooze vibes. <laughs> I also get that. A couple people said Stevie and I think they didn't know that I'm dating a dude named Steve. Uh, Steve replies and says, you have my endorsement. I said, Steve, we are not naming him Steve. Oats, <laughs> melon, orchid, mochi, 
Senshi Sans. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. I mean, you have Serena, so why not Mamoru? I thought it would be cute to name him something that went along with Serena, because Serena's named after Usagi, Serena from Sailor Moon. But like, Mamoru sounds weird, and I'd probably just call him like ma'am, <laughs> but he's like a dude. And like, he's not a tuxedo cat, so calling him tuxedo mask would be, anyway. I, th I thought about it, I think that would be cute, but I just didn't think the name sounded nice. Cashmere. Soft as cashmere, except a cat. <laughs> Lemonade or Milky Rose. I really tried looking for like Precure related names, but none of them really sounded right. Um, my mom actually suggested Lemon, and I thought that would be cute if I named him like Lemonade, like Cure Lemonade, because she's like one of my favorite cures from your Spreaker Frog Go Go, but like, I also like Milky Rose, and like, Steve was like, I like the name Milk, but like, he's like, so it's all <laughs> That's not why we didn't name him Milky Rose. We just decided not to name him that, but it is funny because Steve is lactose intolerant. Wheat Thin <laughs> Sausage Biscuit. Valentine. I love Valentine. I thought about that one. Bert! <laughs> Someone just says, uh-oh. <laughs> there are hundreds of comments. Tinsel, Samson, Clifford, Strauss, Cheese, Soap. <laughs> I really like soap. Anyway. We did end up calling him Stickers. I mostly call him Sticky, Sticky Bun, Sticky Man, Mr. Man, Dude Man, Guy Dude. <laughs> so yes, this is my new son. He is extremely snuggly. He is the same coloring as Nico, but um, he is a blue bicolor instead of a seal bicolor. So instead of being like dark brown triangle face like Niki, he will be a gray triangle face like stickers. And I love him very much. He's very sweet. And he loves Steve too. It's kind of like our cat. Um, so our house is coming along quite nice. We have like a happy family of four now and I'm just, I am a lot happier. I got the cat and the tat in the same week, so it was like a very, very busy November for me, but I am, I'm feeling a lot better and I love him. He's very good. Yeah, she's very good. So without further ado, I'm just gonna let the cat videos roll. He's being very good right now. Um, I have a couple videos from my nice camera of like the first time we introduced him to Neen, which by the way, they are BFFLs. We've had him for, it'll be two weeks tomorrow, I believe, and him and Neen are so close. At first, you know, introducing a new cat to like a resident cat is always tricky because the resident cat is like, I live here, don't eat my food. But um, they literally snuggle together and play together and lick each other and like they're just, they're best friends. They're best friends. It's my favorite thing. I'm so happy. And Neen doesn't meow anymore because she has a pal. It's so nice. All is good in the pixie household now. We're having a very good time. So yes, without further ado, I will roll that sweet, sweet cat footage and I will let our little son stickers take a nap. I'm so sorry for awakening you. That was rude of me. Ready, Nina Beaner? Gonna meet your new brother? Oh, you got him, Stevie? Yeah. Lemon. Um. You know he's 
there. She's just like unbothered. <gasps> oh, there they are. Oh, who's that? Please get along. <laughs> oh, be ready to intervene just in case. But they're being quite pleasant. Oh, oh, his back's arched. You guys gonna be good? Just have a good sniff, okay? It's okay. I know it's tense. I know it's tense. You're being so good. You're being so good. Oh yeah, just a gentle sniff. Oh, gentlest sniff I ever did see. Oh. This is extremely good, huh? Yeah, just having a good sniff. Just having a good sniff. Okay, his back's up a little. I think he's a little spooked because she's like big and weird, like me. Yeah, but let's be honest, if it was Battle Royale, who do you think would oh. get that? Oh, who's going to get that epic victory royale? Steven. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Can you remove Neen? Want me to remove Neen from you? Yes, you remove the Neen. Stickers. It's okay, buddy. You did good. Neen's just a little territorial, okay? Yay! That was pretty good. Can you make it down the stairs? Buddy, I bet you can. Sticky. Sticker book, I bet you can. You can do it, baby. You can do it. Oh. Dear, that's a little inappropriate, but okay. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. This is inappropriate. But at least they're hanging out together. <laughs> Hi. You're sweet. I love you. Who are you wearing? <gasps> Ooh. Velvet number with a oversized denim jacket. What a good look. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Hold my hand. I would die for you. Hi. That's you. That's you. Hey, it's me, I'm back. Bet you didn't expect that. I'm still gonna do an outro, ha <laughs> ha. This video's Feature Confetti Club member is Sweet Sugar Fairy on Instagram, looking so, so cute, so, so fly in the Secretly a Magical Girl tee in pink. I think she has cropped it, which is super cool. I love it like that. I should do that to the ones I have. Looking so cute, rocking the cohort, the pinks, the pastels, the magical elements. I love you. Thank you for your support. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next video, which is not this one, because this one is over. Bye!